almost ready to get underway. In case you're just joining us, Reese Dutch out of the lineup, expecting, him and his wife expecting their second child, so other guys will be forced to step up. Mike Triolo has just one assist total in four games. Is it his turn to rise to the occasion? Chris Wall has just four goals. Corey Small just one goal in his last two. Win or go home while the Sam Ellis looking to win their first WLA title since 2010. They will host the Man Cup. And just a quick update back east, Peterborough with a big win tonight. They now lead that series over six nations, three nothing. Yeah, so even more reason now for the for the for the new Westminster Samuels try to put away the Victoria Shamrocks here tonight at home. It's going to be a quick turnaround if the Peterborough Lakers make quick work of the Six Nations Chiefs. We thought that series was going to go long and thought the Bellies or the Shamrocks might get a nice break here if this one wrapped up quickly, but it looks like Peterborough Lakers are going to put down the Chiefs pretty quick here. So even more reason for the Bellies to end it tonight. Or on the way from QPA, it's Victoria winning the opening faceoff. Here's Priolo getting things started. Three goals in the playoff for Steve Priolo. He stops to set it up. Up high it goes. Wardle down to the far side wall for Small. Looks to the net for a quick shot. Turned away by Bouquet with the right arm. Loose ball battle ensues. Justin Goodwin can't knock it away from Fagan. Fagan up high for Small. Second chance opportunity here for Victoria. Wardle passes to the near side. Reza Terrett, swim move. Turns back around Belgrave, up high, goes to Wardle, to the net with a shot, blocked in front by Justin Goodwin. Rolls to Brever, shot clock has 10, and Brever just turned around and fired it. He still had time on the clock, and it comes all the way deep in the Victoria end. Shot clock at five, and Greg Harnett just gonna whip it down the floor wide of Bouquet, and the buzzer will sound, and New West will get their first touch of the game. Yeah, it's a good start by the Victoria Shamrocks. Corey Small got a shot on goal in the first few seconds. That's exactly what you want to start this game. It looks like Wardle, knows that the pressure's on him a little bit. He had a nice shot that didn't quite make its way through, but tough. nice to see the lefties getting some action early. Mitch Jones leading the playoffs and scoring 49 points. Passes to Shuss. He's third with 41. Shuss up high for McCready. Steps into a shot off the leg of Aaron Bull. There's his first test of the game. Knocked out on the way confidently to a teammate. Both goaltenders have felt it now each. 1-1 are the shots. So it does look like Breber and Marshall King are going to roll out of the front gate for the Shamrocks. Triolo back out of the back gate tonight, but expect him to stay if the transition opportunities arise. Reza Terrets looks at it with a shot. Bouquet gets it with the goal stick. No rebound as the Boo chance work its way around QPA early on here in game five. Yeah, I think the Shamrocks are going to want to just chip it away at Alexis Bouquet tonight. Two shots quick to start this game, getting a lot of rubber towards the net. A couple shots. Haven't made its way through, but it tests. It looks early like it shoot early and shoot off and on Bouquet and I try to wear him down. Aaron Bold with a nice stop on Kevin Crowley. Two minutes in here in this first period. Shots now at 2-2. Ethan Garland slows things down for Chris Wardle. Shot clock halfway done. Wardle, stutter step, spins, stays in front of Hodgson. Back to a pass, Reza Terrence wide open, and he's stopped by Bouquet. What a save as he went down on his rear end to make the stop. Early chance, still scoreless. Yeah, that was a great look on the two-man game. Reza Terrence in all alone on the doorstep, and then Bouquet flashes the wooden stick. And now Shuss with an Aaron pass. Looked like it hit Haas, intended for Jones. Rolls to Bold, and he'll flip it ahead. Transition opportunity here. John Harnett passes to Haas, and he's knocked off the ball. Nice job by Messenger. Got in front of him before he could take the shot. And now a battle ensues for the loose ball bouncing. Ends up behind the net of Bouquet, and Joe McCready scoops it up. Three minutes in, first period, still 0-0 in game five. Joel McCready out to center, fakes a pass. Looking at Crowley, now gets it to him. Crowley with back-to-back -back hat tricks entering tonight's game. 14 points in his last two, he's red hot. Crowley fires, pulled the save, rebound. Jones and Archdeacon scrambling for it, and Bold helps, helps out his defender and grabs the loose ball. Nice job by Archdeacon to box out his man as Garland can't get away from Crowley, but he'll find Small at center who gets it ahead for Jackson. Jackson to Wardle on the far side of your screen. Wardle takes a shot, Bouquet the save. Big rebound up high. Reza Terrence can't grab it, still loose. 
And now it comes towards the Bellies bench. Bellies outnumber the ball, and it's Reed Mitski getting it out to center for Hobson. Nice loose ball effort by the Bellies, not giving up, trying to think a little too much about up the floor, but keep it simple, win that loose ball battle, get your offense out, carry it up slow. Here's Robinson with a chance, and front pulled with his best save of the game. Just stood there, put out the right arm, made the stop as Robinson gets the best chance. Now Triolo on a breakaway all by himself, shoots, stopped by Bouquet. Triolo is still looking for his first of the series, and Bouquet is in the zone early on, Brad. That's his biggest test tonight, and that's exactly why they have Triolo out of the back eight, able to get looks like that all alone up the floor. And he was just gone. Nice float pass over the top of the zone. And then Triolo tried to dunk it far side high. Bouquet flashed exagger exaggeratively over like he likes to do. Haywires just misses and the shot clock gets down to one second, but it's picked up by Greg Harnett. Two great chances early on for the Shamrocks. Reza Territz and Triolo denied by Bouquet. Five shots, five saves apiece for both Alexis and Aaron Bold. Almost five minutes into this first period, still scoreless. Evan Messenger, stutter step move, behind the back pass to Small, rips one wide of the net. Comes to Reza Terrence with a shot, that's blocked by Brett Mitski. Shot clock at six. Shamrock still have it, Reza Terrence stumbles, gets back up, has to make a move in a hurry and he just concedes and dumps it behind the net. Smothering defense, Brett Mitski proving why he's the WLA Defender of the Year right there. Just nowhere to go for any of the Victoria Shamrocks righties. He's, he covers so much floor and pretty much took two men out of the play on his own. Here's Crowley with a chance. Rips it high over the head of Bold. Good defense there from Victoria. And the goaltender takes his time and flips it ahead to Archdeacon. Back and forth we go. Still looking for the icebreaker. Wardle stops in front of Mike Messenger. Spins to the far side. Looks for help. Wardle. Dumps it off for Fagan, shot clock at 12. Breber picks it up off the boards from the outside, takes a shot, Bouquet kicks up the right pad and it goes out of play. Ball will stay with Victoria. 14-12 to go. Shots now 6-5 for the Shamrocks. Off to a pretty good start, just no goals to report yet. Here's Wardle, trying to get away from Messenger, cuts in with a chance and he can't dunk it over the head of Bouquet. Might not even touch it because the shot clock didn't reset. And now an outside shot from Fagan denied by Bouquet. Rebound, Hawks beat to Bouquet. And he brought it back in the crease as a referee. So the Shamrocks will have a third chance here. Yeah, nice jam by Breber. Hawksby brought the loose ball. Breber just drops the shoulder and Hawksby pushes him back into his own crease to get a fresh clock for the Shamrocks. 13.51 to go. Casey Jackson leads the Shamrocks in goal scoring. He's got 15 in this playoff. Reza Terrets from the outside, now lets it go well wide of the net. He's gonna pinball all the way down to Bold, shot clocks at 10, so he comes way out of his net. Gives it to the captain, Small, and he might just have to take this himself. Decides to dump it in towards Reza Terrets. He was boxed out beautifully by Belgrave, and now the Shamrocks head off to the bench as the shot clock hits zero. Yeah, it was feisty shift by both sides. Mitski and Casey Jackson were trading some wax. Hawks being Belgrave were trying to jump on top of Breber. It was I always see these teams not liking each other this deep into a series. Here's a chance for McCready and he scores! Just McCready back in the net. Belly's up 1-0 with 13-12 to go. And that's the kind of secondary tough we talked about in the pregame show. That's what the Bellies have had. They've had McCready, they've had Malcolm, they've had Haywires and Robinson aside from the big three of Joan, Shuss and Crowley. And Joel McCready, just time and room, likes to shoot from the outside. You know, if he's not scoring on the doorstep, crashing the crease, he scores from right about there. Joel McCready's sweet spot has the first night. It's 1-0 New West. So McCready's 11th of the playoffs. Logan Schuss will get the primary assist. We'll check the secondary helper here as the PA announcer, Ken Downey, gets on the microphone. So Logan Schuss up to 42 points in the playoffs. And Mitch Jones now with 50 points. He gets a secondary assist, and now he takes a shot. Ooh, just missed the short side on Bold. Shot clock's at 10 as Crowley goes back to center to pick it up. Got a hurry, and he's in no real rush. He'll just send it down towards Robinson. He might have a chance here. Robinson shoots, and it's stopped by Bold. Where's the ball? It's caught up in Bold's gear, so the ref blows the whistle. 12.35 to go. Shots even at 7 aside. 1-0 New West. Reber. 
Able to get away from Bennett. Fires it across the floor to Wardle. Shot clock down to 15. Small takes the pass. Looks up high, back for Wardle. Now to his left to Breber. Breber to Reza Terrence. Up high for Small, looks to the net with a shot. That went well wide. Came out of his stick awkwardly. Shot clock's at three. Breber will just dump it to an empty corner. And off go both teams to the benches. Yeah, off to the wrong side of the floor too. So Corey Small had to bring that shot across the body. And that's why it pulls a well wide. It's a tough angle to make. Here's the goal scorer. McCready puts his head down to the front of that. Scores again! In typical Joel McCready fashion, barrels his way to the middle of the floor and puts another one between the legs of Bold. And it's 2 0 New West with 11.58 to play. And that's the kind of patented Joel McCready goal we were talking about a second ago as he points to the skies, the patented celebration. Such a fun lacrosse player to watch is Joel McCready. And I think he wants a little break and wants to end this series tonight. 55 goes hard inside. Two goals for Joel McCready, and the bellies are starting to feel it now. And now a giveaway. Justin Goodwin threw it right into the stick of Wardle as we get the goal call from Ken Downey. Goodwin trying to get it back as Kevin Crowley gets the assist. And the secondary helper goes to Brandon Goodwin. Now Wardle has room towards the middle. Check from behind, takes a shot. And that was stopped by Bouquet. So we'll reset to 30 seconds as King grabs the loose ball. Shamrocks with another second chance opportunity. They've had a couple of these early on. Still can't capitalize as Reza Terrence finds Wardle with a shot. Bouquet, a left pad save, and Hawksby grabs the rebound. 11-10 to go, shots are 9-8, Victoria. Crowley takes the pass. Trying to get away from Greg Harnett. Crowley puts his head down, cuts to the net with a shot, stopped by Bold. Harnett gets a rebound, flips it ahead looking for Haas. Haas trying to track it down and he does. Out of the far corner, now having troubles with it, finally scoops it up clean. Offense runs on and Corey Small wants it. Small one-on-one -on -one against Hodgson, back in front for Haas. Tyler Haas now dumps it down for Breber, shot clocks at 12. Paul Breber stopped in his tracks, passes to Small with a shot, stopped by Bouquet, it trickles in. Corey Small's on the board, they needed that. Especially himself, had just one goal in his last two, but he's got the Shamrocks first here in game five. You know, you just nailed it, Brandon. It's, it's getting that offensive shot confidence back. It weighs so much on a player's mind if the balls aren't falling, and Corey Small has struggled in this series to find the back of the net. Just the one hat trick in game two. Other than that, it's been a little bit quiet, so that'll be good for Corey Small to get the monkey off his back early in this game. And we'll see if uh, they'll continue with the hot hand and, and get Corey Small to fire some balls on the net. Just like a star basketball player, Brad, you shoot yourself out of a slump and Corey Small, never afraid to let it rip and that's why he's got 14 in the playoffs. And now he's got possession here, looking to die it. Small from the same spot of the floor, fires this shot wide, goes up into the rafters and out of play, it will be New West ball. So we just confirmed Premier John Horgan will join me after period number one nice. tonight. So you can tweet me your questions, PC questions, <laughs> at Brad Chow, C-H-A double R. Any questions you want me to ask the Premier? He's got a vast lacrosse background and is really shamrock proud. I'll ask him about that to kick things off in about 10 minutes. And now away from the ball, Greg Harnett was taken down by Messenger. And we're getting two penalties here. I think Messenger's going for sure. And Harnett, it might be John, because Greg's just picking himself up off the floor. Yeah, Greg Harnett hurt. John Harnett going to the box along with Mike Messenger. He was in pain, but looks like he's going to be all right as the refs talk things over, trying to sort this out. Yeah, I'm trying to scroll back through the replay, and I don't see where that came from. I'm assuming it was a big offensive pick set by Messenger in that zone. And Harnett squirming around on the ground did not look like that felt good at all. But it's going to be a trade-off. Harnett and Messenger, we'll see if it's two apiece or if someone's going to get a five here. Looked like it was... Four on four, the ref signal, and that is the case. Messenger for cross checking, Harnett for slashing. So, some more room here. Four on four, halfway through this opening period of game five. Belly's up 2 1 on a couple goals from Joel McCready. Corey Small is a goal scorer for Victoria, and he has the ball right now. Passes to the near side. Reza Terrence winds, fakes, falls, still tried to shoot, missed the net. 
It's going to come to Casey Jackson with still 14 seconds on the shot clock. He'll take it back to the far side of the wall. Jackson in front was a Terrence quick shot off the pad of Bouquet. That's a nice cut though. That's a great cut by Resta Terrence. Gets the feed, quick stick opportunity. That's how you're going to beat Bouquet, slipping across the crease like that, using some speed on the hard cuts. Now it's New West turn to set, set things up four on four. Jones, McCready, Shuss, and Haywires, the forward unit. Jones, McCready, has Shuss up high, back to McCready. Nine seconds to shoot. He wants the hat trick. McCready lets it go wide of the net. Loose ball in front, three seconds of the shot clock. Haywires has to get it towards the net, and now they're going to run out of time. Good defensive possession there from Victoria. Yeah, they're very happy to have Steve Priolo back in the lineup. Such a physical specimen on that back end. Really patrols the floor, and not a lot of guys getting inside when they're lined up on Big 32. Reza Teretz has had a couple of opportunities. No goals yet. One-on-one -on -one against Belgrave. The youngster trying to keep him in check. Pass is made, stolen by Brandon Goodwin. He could be on a breakaway. Goodwin trying to get around Brever. Has Belgrave with him. Gets to the pass. Belgrave shoots, and it just missed the net. Shamrocks head back the other way after dodging a bullet there. 25 seconds to go in four on four. Wardle walks towards the middle, passes towards Fagan. Fagan stops. Over it goes to Jackson. Shot clock at 15, underhand shot, Bouquet the save. Went down on both knees, made the stop, and hands off to Minsky. This is Brett. We're going to be back to five on five here in eight seconds. 8.05 to go in the first period. 2-1 New West leads. Crowley waiting for Messenger and Harnett to come out of the box. Here is Crowley, turns towards the boards, under pressure, passes to McQuaid. Shot clock already down to seven. They got to get it to the net here. It's Mitch Jones from the outside with a shot blocked by Burns. And John Harnett scoops up the loose ball with one hand. 7.40 to play. Both teams changing. Shots are 12-10 in favor of Victoria. Looking to tie it here on this possession. It's small. Without his running mate, Reese Dutch, tonight. He was expecting a second child. Congratulations to the Dutch family back in Victoria. And now Reza Terrence with a chance. Stopped by Bouquet, rebound to Bennett, taken down from behind, gets back up. Being watched by Corey Small, and he'll take it around the net. Similar play to earlier, though. Reza Terrence cutting hard through the middle, getting some nice feeds. One of those is going to fall here eventually if they keep trying it. 7.05 to play. Here's McCready with a burst of speed. Now needs a pass. He'll get it towards Crowley. Shot clock at eight. Crowley to Shuss. Shuss to Jones, down to four. Jones looks, passes across the floor. McCready with a shot, blocked on its way through, and the shot clock sounds. Blocked by Yarchik, and a bit of a smothering shift by the Shamrocks. Jones had nothing. He was pushed into the corner, got a nice feed over to McCready, and the shot blocked by the Albertan Jake Archdeacon to keep it 2 1. 6.40 remains in this first period. Reza Terrets over to Marshall King. The call up, King to Small, takes a shot, stopped by Bouquet, Quinn McKay the rebound, flips it behind the back, Brandon Goodwin's all by himself on a breakaway, Goodwin in on goal, shoots, stopped by Bold. Lunges out of his crease to get the rebound, nice stop there by the veteran to keep it 2-1. Goodwin comes back defensively as the Shamrocks make the changes. Yeah, the belly sure have been afraid to force it up the floor at all, they've had a couple good looks in transition. Now Messenger missed the pass, cutting towards the net, but Brever follows up. Leaves it for Fagan, shot clock's at 10. Fagan chased from behind as Messenger knocks him to the floor. Shot clock down to five, Fagan loads up with a shot, Bouquet kicks it aside for Belgrave. Some nice heat on that from downtown. Almost got a reset, but Bou Bouquet's rebound control has been so oppressive throughout this playoffs. You can't really throw one at him and expect the bouncing ball and the reset. They're all staying within his zone. He's clamping down with his stick on the loose balls. Justin Goodwin threw it away to the Shamrocks. They set it up deep in. New West Territories, Corey Small has a lane, steps into a shot and scores! Small's got two, and we're even. 5.30 left in the first period, and you cannot give him that much time or he will do just that. Ooh, the kitten's purring tonight, and it's nice to see for Victoria Shamrock fans. Is, again, feed the hot hand. He's got that confidence now, and you have to to fire from this range. That's Corey Small territory, but you still have to be confident to let that shot go. A nice whip on it, and Corey Small ties it at deuces. Joel McCready two, Corey Small two, that's his 15th of the playoffs, tied for the team lead with Casey Jackson. 
5.25 to go, scramble for it off the face off and it's gonna be Victoria possession. Sheldon Burns back deep in his own end to get it. Big face off win, if Burns not winning them, his loose ball team is there and Sheldon Burns has been sniffing them out all playoff. So now Victoria looking for their first lead in game five. They got some momentum going their way right now. Here is the captain looking for the hat trick. Small, spins, passes up high. Fagan shot, rips it wide. Mitski picks it up off the wall. Double team, still gets away from pressure. Plays it ahead for Schuss. Logan Schuss breaking in. Garland pushes him to the outside and Logan will just stop. Stutter step move, passes to Jones. Jones cutting towards the middle. Across the floor it goes to Crowley. Crowley puts a shoulder to Greg Harnett, 10 to shoot. Crowley looks behind the back. Robinson, Schuss, four seconds to shoot. Now Jones lets it go wide and it'll be a turnover against New West as the shot clock sounds. It's gonna start in the offensive zone for the Victoria Shamrocks as well as that shot sails all the way down the floor. 4.27 to go and Victoria looking really good right now. They have the last two and their defense has turned it around yeah. after McCready scored the opening two. No, they haven't been afraid to shoot. Rest of Terrence, Fagan, Small, all getting balls on net. Casey Jackson cuts to the middle, held from behind, takes a shot, bouquet to save, rebound loose and there's Hawksby scooping it up. Shamrocks wanted to call as Jackson was grabbed onto from behind but we play on. Four minutes to go, shots are 17-11 for Victoria. Kevin Crowley, one-on-one -on -one against Greg Harnett, passes up high for Hodgson. Hodgson passes down to the corner and goes off to the bench for Schuss. Shot clock at 10, nearly given away, Crowley gets it back, cuts to the middle, Crowley shoots and it's blocked on its way through, and here come the Shamrocks, two-on-one if they hurry. Harnett, this is John, takes a shot and he bounced it high. Off the glass, Messenger gets it, now it's New West on an odd man rush. Messenger with Goodwin and Schuss takes a shot, stopped by Bold, rebound to the corner, and Haas had it poked out from behind by Messenger. Messenger stays on it, knocks it free for Logan Schuss, but he can't pick it up, and the Shamrocks get it courtesy of Steve Priolo. 3.10 to go. Fagan out of the bench, passes towards Messenger. This is Evan. Brett Mitski guarding him closely. Messenger to the near side for Reza Teretz. Reza Teretz back to Messenger. He'll find Jackson. Shot clock at 10. Jackson steps around Bennett, drops it off for Messenger. Shot scores! What a play! Jackson floats it towards Messenger and he gives Victoria their first lead. Nice overhand rip by Messenger. This is the secondary boost the Shamrocks have been needing this series. And it's kind of everything terminating up right in this first period. All the pregame sort of things that we talked about. Corey Small needing to get hot. The secondary needing to come alive. And this is Evan Messenger who's got his eighth goal of the playoffs after an injury riddled regular season. And that's, you know, Small's not even on the floor for that goal. And nice to see some other lefties coming alive for the Shamrocks. So the Shamrocks starting to build a nice little run here. They have three unanswered. They lead 3-2, now 2.40 left to play. So Jackson and Reza Terrace get the assist on Messenger's eighth of the playoffs. And now here's McCready for the hat trick, and he's stopped by Bold. He stepped in the crease anyway. Oh, but he wants it. And you have a feeling Joel McCready might just get it by the end of the night, the way he's going to the net hard in this first period. Relentless. Shots 18-12 for Victoria. Briolo starts out with it. Fakes the pass to Fagan. Runs across center, one hand on his stick. Priolo had it knocked out from behind, he picks it back up. Under pressure, puts a shoulder into Bennett who goes flying to the floor. Priolo to Reza Teretz. Shot clock at 10. Small gets possession, he's one on one against Hodgson. Small, he wants the hat trick. Shake and bake shot, Bouquet the easy save and he'll come out of his crease to grab it. Under two minutes to go. Ian Hawksby, the veteran, passes to Robinson. Robinson passing to Crowley. Kevin Crowley, one-on-one -on -one against Garland. Step back, shot, bold to stick safe. Looking five-hole there, no room. No, and bold's been solid five-hole all season long. You know, he's got a good stick. One of the only goaltenders in the summer that plays with plastic stick, with the mesh, he likes that lightweight, 
So he's able to get his pass offs and maybe to have some consistency between summer and winter perhaps, but so good. Around the five hole is Aaron Bold. You gotta get that ball bouncing Here's around. Here's a the chance way. for McKay and tight. Bold makes a save. McKay's dumped from behind as a Shamrocks get the rebound. He's really starting to feel it. Is Aaron Bold looking very comfortable in his crease. Yeah, 12 saves in the first 19 minutes. Last minute of play, first period. Small takes a shot. Bouquet the stick save. He's using the big wooden stick and he retrieves it. Gets it over to Messenger. And he'll loft it ahead for Daniel McQuaid. McQuaid, Robinson, long shot, and oh, that missed by quite a margin. Shamrocks pick it up off the wall. About a 10 second differential between the game and shot clock. 34 seconds to go in the period. Under 20 now on the shot clock. Evan Messenger has a go ahead goal. He's on the floor right now. Reza Terrets. KC Jackson back to Reza Terrets, and now we get a moving screen, and I'm sure New West might call a timeout, but Belgrave's on a breakaway. The youngster all by himself shoots, and he scores! <laughs> Welcome to the Valleys, Mr. Belgrave. He ties it up with 3-3 with 18 seconds to go. Massive, and you're right. They could have pulled that out, called the timeout, drawn up a six-on-five play, but no, all the confidence in the world to tell that rookie to just keep going, go, go, go. And great wheels by Belgrave. Nothing fancy, just lefty shot, keeps his stick on his shoulder and beats Bull to the short side. And yeah, we're tied. The Jets, his yeah. first career goal. He's got a new souvenir. Comes at an opportune time. Kid can fly. We saw that transition opportunity earlier in this period when he ran the floor with Goodwin. And again, smart, he knows when to go. Goodwin is one-on-one -on -one up the floor and Belgrave thought, hey, you know, I can go and stay with this guy and give him an outlet pass option. That almost resulted in the goal earlier, but now he's got one. 10 seconds left, Bold's walking slowly to the bench as Burton fires a shot wide, Reza Terrence gets it, up high for Small, he loads up and he scores! One second left, Corey Small gets the hat trick, and Victoria back in front. Can you say meow? <laughs> Corey Small with a first period hat trick and none prettier than that one, a laser, hard and high. And we talk about the best shooters in the game mixing up their shots. He's well over to the righty side of the floor, comes overhand to the short side. Man, oh man, that is a wicked snipe from Corey Small and the Shamrocks are back on top. That was a bullet. Buzzer sounds, Shamrocks reply after the Belgrave marker. They take a 4-3 lead into the second. They needed someone to step up. You thought it might be Corey Small and sure enough, he has shown up big time. He's got three of his team's four goals, and they lead by one, and are out shooting New West 21 to 15. Welcome back to the start of the second period. Brandon Astle, Brad Challenger with you. Let's get to the scoring summary before the second period face off. It began at 648. Joel McCready made it one to nothing. His 11th of the playoffs from Logan Schuss and Mitch Jones. McCready wasn't done there. Less than two minutes later, made it two nothing. 8.02 mark, Crowley and Brandon Goodwin, the helpers. But after that, Victoria rips off three straight, starting at 9.25, Corey Small from Brever and Haas, and then Small again at 14.30 from Harnett and Reza Terrence. That made it 2-2, 17.08. Evan Messenger gives Victoria their first lead of game five. Jackson, Reza Terrence, the assist. And then with 18 seconds to go, Drew Belgrave gets his first career goal of the bellies, unassisted on a breakaway, tied it up at 3-3. And then with 1.8 on the clock, Corey Small takes the pass from Reza Terrence and buries it over the right shoulder of Small. That's the hat trick goal for Corey. He's got 16 in these playoffs, and it could be one, one of those games for the Victoria captain. And the Shamrocks are loving what they're seeing out of their captain, their heart and small, their, their MOP through the first 20 minutes of this lacrosse game, no question about it. When Corey Small is going, the Victoria Shamrocks are going. The one win they got in this series, what did Corey Small do that game? Oh, ho-hum, three goals, three assists in that one. It was one of his biggest nights of the postseason. So the Shamrocks need to look at their captain and watch what their captain is doing on the floor and rise to the occasion and help Corey Small and Aaron Bull and get this done in the next 40 minutes. Shots are 21-15 for the Shamrocks. We traded ends. Back underway here in game five. Shamrocks. Pick up the ball off the face-off. Steve Priolo 
Reza Teretz. Good period there for Joe Reza Teretz. Three assists, could have had a couple goals as well. Now he's one-on-one -on -one against Justin Goodwin. Stutter step move, thought about shooting. Passes to Small, 10 to shoot. Small gets around Mike Messenger, drops it off to Jackson who shoots and he scores! Casey Jackson, 30 seconds into the second period, makes it 5-3 Victoria. And this is just a seeing eye shot. Jackson short side right above the ankle of Bouquet. Not a lot of net to shoot at, but this ball had eyes. The two-man game works. Corey Small with a nice flip over. And then Jackson puts it right between the glove and the shin pad of Alexis Bouquet. And it's 5-3. So a quick start in this period. Jackson with a... Hard shot, short side, and now we got a face-off violation, charge against the Shamrocks. It's their largest lead of the game in a must-win situation. Brandon Goodwin passes to Joel McCready, has room to shoot, tucks it in. McCready up high, now to Crowley, he missed him completely, and now a foot race for it. Burns steps in front of Brandon Goodwin, stops in the far corner, looks like he wants to set this up. Sheldon Burns, four goals in these playoffs, makes the pass and runs off to the bench for a change. So Reza Tarek picks up another assist. He's got four of them already in this game. Small takes a whack from Crowley, makes the pass to Reza Tarek. Eight seconds to shoot. Joe Reza Tarek spins. Reed Minsky watching closely. Comes to Small, has to shoot. It's blocked. Comes to Jackson down low, and a quick shot was stopped by Bouquet. And Logan Schuss on the shot block, playing a Shift the defense, able to bat that one away. And here's Schuss on the offense, and he rang it off the post. Oh. Post crossbar, it hit the pipe, that's for sure. That would have been a great shift by Logan Schuss. Block a shot, save a goal, score a goal. Didn't work out that way. Billy still have it. Daniel McQuaid across the floor. Mitch Jones trying to find space around Triolo, who's caught out there. It comes to Schuss, steps around McCullough, back to Jones. He shoots off the post. Other side this time. Two posts for the Bellies, and they get it again. Third chance opportunity. The bar getting peppered right now behind Aaron Bull. Inches. They reset. McQuaid up high. Jones over to Schuss. Schuss takes a shot, missed the net. It's going to bounce to his buddy Jones. 10 to shoot. Low shot goes wide. And it's going to end up all the way down the floor. Shot clock's at eight. So Bouquet out of his net, just going to poke it to the corner for Donaldson. Donaldson just plays it down into the Shamrock's bench, it looked like. And. They're going to say Shamrock touched it last, so it's going to stay with New West. And the ref blows the whistle. Shamrocks can't believe it. And they might overturn this as the referees get together. Yeah, Lee Breen was on the end of the floor. Keith Garnier up at the air and bold, and they're going to converse. I think it's staying with New West. How about this ball? Yeah, it's going to stay with the belly. Shamrock's not happy about that non-change of possession. We'll see if New West can take advantage. Jones to the corner for Robinson. Robinson passes off. McQuaid, low pass. Handcuffed Jones momentarily. Jones takes it to the net. He's got room. He shoots, and he stepped in the crease. Ref was right there, waves it off. 17.20 to go. Second period. Shamrock's up 5-3. Wardle. Passes to Fagan. Fagan shoots, bounced it over top of the glass and out of play. Gonna stay with the bellies. Shots 23-17. Donaldson, Crowley, down to the corner for McCready. McCready spins. Up high it goes to Jones. Now to Schuss on the right side. Logan Schuss. Looking for an option, finds Crowley with a quick shot, bold, coming to his right, makes a save and hangs on to it. Nice stop, there's the Bellies. Best chance so far of the period. Burns, Reza Teretz. Down in the corner for Marshall King. King takes a shot, Bouquet makes a save, didn't know where it was for a second. Quinn McKay picks it up and finds Belgrave. Belly's in transition, led by Belgrave, looking for another, he shoots, it's blocked. Ends up in the corner, King can't grab it. 
And Goodwin knocks it free to McQuaid. Shot clock at 15 as the belly set up. Yeah, that's a big loose ball for the bellies. Maybe an ill-advised shot by Belgraves. That one took a lucky bounce and ends up in the hands of the bellies. Shot, sharp angle shot, missed the target. Five seconds to shoot. Belgrave has to get it to the net. And he missed Aaron Bold. Shamrocks pick up the loose ball as the shot clock hits zero. Four minute mark, second period. Reza Teretz. Down the far side of the wall. Runs to the middle. Reza Teretz tries a shot off the right pad of Bouquet. Big rebound. And it's going to end up over the glass. Last touch by, I think, Bouquet. And yes, that is a signal. Victoria ball. And Lee Breen again was up the floor. I think the refs disagreeing on that play as well. It's going to stay up the Shamrocks. Wardle over to Jackson. Corey Small getting a breather right now. Wardle fights off a bouncing ball. Gets it down back to Jackson. Jackson has the goal here in the second half. Room with a shot stopped by Bouquet. Picks up the rebound. Has a man at center. It's Messenger. Messenger comes back towards it. Stops and fires a hard pass towards Kevin Crowley. Crowley up high for Messengers. Takes a shot. Bounced it wide. Crowley picks it up. 15 to shoot. Crowley. Robinson lost the handle. It comes to the corner though for Jones. Seven to shoot. Jones to the net with a shot. Missed it. Comes to Garland off the boards. He bobbled it but it's still gonna find its way to Burns. Messenger has become so fun to watch this year. He's so poised, doesn't matter what he's doing, whether he's, like, there's a loose ball flying in there. Most times guys are you know, jumping up for it, trying not to get hit, and he just looks so calm, just, just waiting for that ball to land in his stick. He dictates the pace of the game. Shot clock at eight, Reza Terrace, the small, takes the shot, rolled it wide. Brother with three seconds to shoot, Lost the handle, and it's going to be New West ball. Mitski plays it ahead. Now in front, Crowley wide open, shoots, and he hit the post. Three posts in this period from the bellies. Just Jones and now Crowley have all hit the pipe. There remains 5-3. Nice chance all by himself there. Aaron Bowles is going to take his post out for a nice dinner tonight. And now Priolo with a shot point blank, stopped by Bouquet. Priolo gets his own rebound and slows things down here. 27-18 in the shots for Victoria. They're getting the breaks right now. Jackson up high for Reza Teretz. He's got room. Joe Reza Teretz to the net with a shot. Scores! He's got five points, a goal and four assists. Joe Reza Teretz makes it 6-3 Victoria. Now outside shot from the righty. We've talked about it a lot. Hard overhand shots from Reza Terrace. He knows how to bury them, and they've been falling all playoff long as he leads this team in goals, going back and forth with Corey Small, who's got 16 now. Reza Terrace has 16 of his own. Yeah, talk about balance. Jackson, Small, and now Reza Terrace, all with 16 goals in these playoffs. Shamrocks are feeling it. They're up three. Priolo off the faceoff, finds Wardle. Up three and out shooting by 10. And that's really been the difference. They've gotten a lot of rubber towards Alexis Bouquet tonight. Wardle passes to Jackson. Casey Jackson looking for help. Seven seconds on the shot clock. He's running out of time here. Gets it down to the corner. And Evan Messenger across the floor. Can't reach Marshall King in time. Buzzer sounds. And we'll see if New West can get on the board here in the second. Justin Goodwin leads the rush. Passes to his right, Mitch Jones. Swim move, can't get around Greg Harnett. Now gets a screen from Crowley. Jones grabbed onto, makes a one-handed pass. Joel McCready, 13 on the shot clock. Down to the corner, Daniel McQuaid. McQuaid sharp angle, his shot blocked, and out of the goal is Aaron Bold to pick it up behind his net. That one stung Harnett, but he fiercely jumped in front of that shot to keep it a three-goal game. Almost halfway through this game number five. Belly's leading the series 3-1. Shamrock's looking for more. They know no lead is safe as Breber tries a shot. Blocked by Belgrave. He'll pick up a loose ball. Belgrave puts it in fifth gear. Three on two. Makes a pass to Hodge and he shoots. And it was stopped by Aaron Bold. 
Breber gets the rebound, and now Victoria trying to get something going, but Breber just going to stop. Good opportunity. Quick stick short side by Hodgson. Aaron Bull just even quicker. Wardle to Triolo. Triolo makes his way around. Goodwin tries a shot, and he scores. Mike Triolo's first of the series. He needed that. Didn't have much room, but able to beat Bouquet, and it's a 7-3 lead for Victoria. Yeah, where's that been all playoff long? This is what you want to see out of Triola. It's what we talk about. You got a frame like that, and hands that soft, use it to your advantage. And he does that time, just the third of the postseason for Triola, who granted spent a bit of time out of the back gate, but use that frame, and Bouquet is going to get chased, Brandon oh. Assel. Is this just a breather or is his night done? He's standing pretty close to the defensive gate. 29 shots on goal halfway through this game. Not even halfway through this game. So on pace for over 60 in this one. They've wanted to chip away at Bouquet and they have been tonight. All the guys who've needed to score have been scoring for the Shamrocks tonight. Corey Small has three. Jackson, Messenger, your secondary. Triolo finally snaps his slump and the Shamrocks bit of a lead here four goals 12 10 to go in the second <laughs> so Belanger in for now off the face off messenger gets it offense gonna come on Belanger stays put in the crease for now as Justin Goodwin passes to Robinson Connor Robinson to Joel McCready, puts his head down, cuts towards the middle, McCready shoots, stopped by Bold. And now, loose ball battle. Bold didn't pick it up and it was smart because it would have been brought back in the crease. Yeah, it interferes with McCready a little bit to break up McCready chasing after that loose ball. But this series, if it's been any indication, this run for the Salmon Bellies needs to stop now. They've allowed four in a row. In this series, we've talked about it. We've seen 12, eight, six, the teams that have won those three runs have won lacrosse games. Shamrocks on a four goal run right now. Four on the shot clock, Marshall King across the floor, Messenger whiffed on it, and Quinn McKay will pick it up and fire it ahead to center for Logan Schuss. Schuss all by himself, no choice but to stop and set things up. Passes up high for Haywires, and there goes Belanger for Bouquet. Quick little breather there, Belanger didn't see anything. Small try to shot, but it was blocked, and now Bouquet Runs back because of the delayed call. Penalty coming up to Victoria. Shot clock down to eight. Six on five, and now the Bellies throw it away. So we got a slashing call against Steve Priolo, it looks like. Yeah, tapping deep in the offensive zone on Shuss, I believe. Aaron Bold wants to take a breather. We're halfway through this game on a hot day in the lower mainland. I think it's about a 25-26-er, depending on where you were. Aaron Bold heading to the bench for a squirt of water. So a good time for the Salmon Bellies to end this run at four and try to get back into this lacrosse game. League's best power play in the postseason. Yeah, 43.48%. They gotta get one here to stop the bleeding as Bold makes his way back towards his net. Jones, Shuss, Robinson, the three lefties. Crowley and McCready playing on the near side. The top five leading scorers for the new Westminster Salmon Bellies. And here they go to work. Shuss, Robinson play back and forth. Now Jones gets it up high. Over to Crowley. Joel McCready's turn. Passing to Crowley. Crowley, Jones has space. Back to Crowley. Crowley backdoor pass and Archdeacon knocked it away as it was intended to Jones. But Victoria throws it away. Tyler Haas couldn't stretch out at center. And now we get a too many men call charge against New West, so the Shamrocks catch a break. 25 seconds gone off the penalty to Priolo. Breber has possession and he just wants to wind this penalty down. Now it's Jackson. Very shifty Casey Jackson. Quick first step, now double team. Throws it into an empty corner. Kevin Crowley picks it up. Belly's got numbers the other way. Crowley tried to pass, but reaching out to knock it away was Brever from behind. What a play, and it comes to Greg Harnett. Harnett lost the handle. Wardle steps in front of it. 
Wardle gets away from pressure. Now under a minute to go in Priolo's penalty. Credit Paul Breber. He wins this possession back. Strips Crowley as he's looking for that breakout pass. Goodwin would have been gone up the floor on a breakaway on Justin Goodwin. But a great stick by Breber. Relentless on the chase. And smacks it out of the hands of Crowley. Shamrock's trying to kill 40 seconds here. Evan Messenger takes it all the way around. Fires a pass to Wardle. Handcuffed him. Justin Goodwin wins the battle. And New West might have one last chance here on the power play. 28 seconds to work with. 9.15 to go in the period. It's all Victoria right now. As Logan Shuss couldn't handle the pass. Haas stepped in front of him. And he's going to take it back down the floor. He's got Corey Small all by himself, but he couldn't control the hard pass. And now Shuss is going to have a breakaway if he gets it. Logan Shuss in all alone. Shoots. Scores. How did that happen? Shuss, power play goal against the green. 7-4 Shamrocks. What a turn of events. Just coughs it up at center on the power play. You think the Shamrocks are going to kill the rest of it. And he's like, you know what, I'm just going to hang out up here. <laughs> and boom, Bold was scampering back to you. Bold was out, I think, to chase a loose ball. He had to scamper back in net as that ball was in the air. Not enough time to get set. And Logan Shuss has number 18 on the postseason. Matches his sweater number. Big goal, and now Burton's held up by Hawksby. No call, throws it in front, and Belgrave knocks it away as Steve Priolo is waiting for it. What a game Belgrave's having. Now he passes to Messenger. Messenger shoots, and he scores! They're back! Mike Messenger, 7-5. Give Belgrave two assists. And now Priolo takes a penalty after the fact. And New West is going to the power play. Uh, pendulum swinging the way of the fish right now. Messenger gets a bump from Burns, but it's just so hard to knock Messenger off his trajectory. And buries that one short side on the bounce. 7-5 we go, and a power play to come. Priolo unsportsmanlike. Messenger's fourth of the playoffs. Belgrave stole it in the crease. Runs it down the floor. Should get the only assist. Belly's down by two. And get another chance on the man advantage. They're one for one. 7-5 score. Penalty after the whistle, so we won't have to face off. Mitch Jones will just start at that center. McCready, Crowley, Jones, Shuss, Robinson all out there. Here's Shuss. Far side, now up high for Jones. Over to Crowley, takes the shot, pass it to Jones. Jones lost the handle, chased it back down. Still 15 on the shot clock. Jones, McCready. Shuss shoots, stopped by Bold, rebound, Jones. Made a pass and hit the helmet of Arch Deek, but Jones gets it back. They'll set it up with a new shot clock as Crowley lets it go wide in the net. Robinson gathers it off the boards, passes to Shuss, and he's just gonna settle it down. Joel McCready, Kevin Crowley. Now Logan Shuss behind the back, Mitch Jones to Shuss. Shuss behind the back to Jones. Shot clock at five, he shoots, stopped by Bold, and it goes out of play. New West going to hang on to it with a minute 14 to go in the power play. They'll get a breather. Shuss and Jones were converse. They're going to switch spots here. Mitch Jones dictating this play. Little movement now. Crowley, Jones, Shuss, shoots. Stopped by Bold. Shuss again. And Bold made another save. McCready gets the loose ball. Plays it up high. Bellies are buzzing. Crowley shoots. Missed the net. Off the glass. Mitch Jones going to pick it up. 15 on the shot clock. Shuss waits behind the back to Crowley in front and it rolled out of his stick. Robinson gets a loose ball, five seconds to shoot. Here's McCready, fires, ball to save, another penalty coming up. It's going against Greg Harnett, or is it Mitch and the Jones? Shamrocks are livid. A shooting gallery by the Bellies power play. Harnett does a good job to Gonna stick up and actually take that shot away from Crowley on the doorstep. The loose ball is rolling into the corner, and then Tyler Haas takes a penalty. They'll now be two men short for 39 seconds. And man, oh man, the shot differential was quite a bit big until we got to this power play. And there must have been four or five good opportunities. Bold standing tall, and it's only a matter of time. Two man advantage for New West. Crowley. Jones, back to Crowley, he's got room. Crowley shoots and he scores! 
and six. Belly still in the power play for a minute, 49 seconds. They'll be looking to tie it up. Crowley outweights Bold, finds room between the legs. And Crowley with a 16th of the playoffs. It's so easy on the four on three. Crowley just has the lane. McCready seals Harnett. And Crowley right down First Street, New Westminster, tucks it past Bold. And another penalty for Harnett. Wow. He's going to get an unsportsmanlike like after that goal falls in. I think he might have gotten a misconduct. But he is in the box with Tyler Haas. I never have heard the building this loud this whole season, bro. No, and the Shamrocks have just called a timeout. They're trying to stem this side a little bit, kill this flood by the Bellies, who have just scored three quick ones, made it a one-goal game. Now, Harnett's going to get two and a ten here, most likely. Has been put up on the board yet. But you're actually hearing, go Rocks, go. There's a large contingent of Victoria yeah. Shamrocks fans in here. Underneath the broadcast booth to my right, uh, you're hearing Go Rocks Go as they're trying to support their team right now and give them some life after an onslaught on the power play by the Bellies. So I don't think there's a two on top of Harnett's misconduct, so he'll sit the rest of the period for now, it looks like. Only Haas's penalties up there, minute 49. Left to kill. Bellies two for two on the power play. Kevin Crowley after a six point game in game four. Gets on the board here in game five. Big face off here upcoming. And here is the penalty. So it is just a 10 minute misconduct for John Harnett. Bennett against Burton in a circle. And the Bellies trying to outnumber the ball. It's played ahead for Priolo. And he'll pick it up in the Bellies end. Shamrocks need a good kill here. Good kill, a good 40 seconds to a minute. And now a push in the back as Belgrave is sent flying into the corner. Yeah, Bellies that's, will get that's it. Snuck into an interference called on Wardle, and they hand it right back to this power play. Looking to tie it. They were down 7 to 3. Now 7 6. 6.35 to play in the second period. Top five man units out there again. Crowley. Wants another, passes, blocked partially by John Harnett, shot clocks at five, Crowley scurries, finds Jones, Jones shoots, rolled it wide, and it's gonna be Victoria Ball in New West Territory. Yeah, I'll say it again, now the Shamrocks need a good kill. They can kill the rest of this power play right now with one good possession. So it's Crowley from Jones and shots on that last power play goal, and now a steal from Brandon Goodwin. Yeah, it's not gonna cut it. Bellies come right back out on the power play. 45 seconds left. Mitch Jones, he's got three assists. Jones to Crowley, they go back and forth. Now Schuss has a lane, shoots off the right arm of Bold. Out of play, New West will get another chance. John Harnett's been the real only steady on this back end. They've re-rolled different penalty killers through this, and John Harnett's been the one constant He's got to be gassed. Crowley with a shot. Stopped by Bold. Rebound McCready. Can he stay out of the crease? He did. They'll have another crack at it. Crowley. Jones. Back door to McCready. Now to Crowley. Crowley to Jones. He shoots. Stopped by Bold. Nice save. He'll pick up a loose ball out of his uh, leg pad. And that should pretty well do it for the power play as Bold fires a shot. Missed the target, but it pinballs to Burns. He gives away to Messenger. So they kill off the penalty as Ha steps out of the box. New West now two for three on the power play. 5.15 to go. Even strength, Robinson controls. Leaves it for Schuss. He's got three points, Logan Schuss. Towards the middle, double team. Lost the handle, and the Shamrocks get it. They have numbers the other way. Triolo in a foot race against Robinson. All by himself, Triolo shoots, stopped by Bouquet. Rebound, Triolo, behind the back, stopped by Bouquet. Haywire has brought it back in the crease. Well, the Bellies don't mind as Bouquet makes two fabulous stops on Triolo and Priolo. Triolo is actually arguing that the ball crossed the line. Keith Gagne checks with the goal judge behind the net saying, no, it didn't. Get another look on the replay. Beautiful shot by Priolo. And they're pointing there, but the referee had only blown the whistle on the look back out. call. Belgrave could be on a breakaway. Having trouble picking up the bouncing ball, and he's just going to stop. He's got Justin Goodwin with him. Belgrave just going to back off as the offense joins him. 
4.35 to play. What a game it's been here at Queens Park Arena. WLA lacrosse at its finest. Here's Goodwin to Joel McCready. Looking for the hat trick. McCready takes it to the far side. Thought about shooting. Peels back. 10 on the shot clock. Over it goes to McQuaid. Backdoor miss Belgrave. Justin Goodwin trying to pick it up. Shot clock at three. And McQuaid jumps in front but stepped in the crease. Whistle sounds. Yeah, four defensive players who stayed out on that offensive shift. The bellies were caught up in transition and had the pressure on, no one able to change. Bellies have the last three, four minutes to go in the period. Shots are 31-25 for Victoria. Evan Messenger has a goal in this game. Looking for space across the floor. It's picked off by Justin Goodwin. Nice read as that was intended to Marshall King. Goodwin on his horse. Passes to Hodgson, his shot scores! The captain ties it up. Didn't have much room, but able to sneak it past Bold. Listen to this place. Oh, captain, my captain. Curtis Hodgson just lit a match in Queens Park Arena, the patented twister <laughs> as he comes through and beats Aaron Bolt. Second time's a charm. He had a great transition opportunity earlier. And all the momentum swinging belly right now. Four unanswered. We're tied, Brandon. 3.43 to go in the second period of an amazing lacrosse game here in game five. Turning point had to be that chef's goal against the green. Ever since that, it's been all New West. And now they win the faceoff. Yeah, leave it to the leaders. Corey Small, all class, three goals to the Shamrocks. And Mr. Class, the Wiley vet, Curtis Hodgson ties this game up for the hometown. 7-7 tie, Victoria has possession. 3.25 to go, here's Wardle. Chris Wardle across the floor to Reza Terrets. Reza Terrets stops and now we get a penalty as Messenger is taken to the floor. Josh Fagan cross-checked him and he's going to the penalty box. This will be the fourth power play of the period for New West, they're two for three tonight. Yeah, they're not getting any favors, and the Shamrocks shaking their heads on the way off the floor. Another big stand here on a penalty kill that's had a lot of floor time here in period number two. You see Harnett and Priolo, they're just kind of like, well, what do we do? Time to make a stand. New West looking for the lead. 3.15 to go. Crowley down low to McCready. In the middle for Schuss. Schuss and Crowley back and forth. Schuss takes a shot, hit the post. Beat Bold underneath the right arm, but hits the post for a second time in this period as Logan Schuss. Yeah, four posts total. I think all in this second period. Reset of the shot clock as it came all the way down to the belly's end. Crowley in for McCready, back to Crowley. Up high for Schuss. Logan Schuss behind the back to Robinson. He shoots, stopped by both. Rebound, Jones can't tuck it in. Robinson gives it away. Priolo is standing in the passing lane and picked it off. Robinson shakes his head all the way back to the bench. And now we'll see how much time the Shamrocks can kill off this penalty to Fagan. Minute 10 left. 7-7 seven, seven tie here in the second period. Shot 32 to 27. Wardle sees the double team coming. Kicks it into high gear around the net, slams on the brakes. Wardle to the near side corner, looking for something. Throws it across the floor. Brever in front all alone, and he missed the net. Bouquet just waits, 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 and Brever waits too long to get the shot off. And finally, when he's on the wrong side of the crease, tries to come back short side, and it goes wide. 40 seconds left in this power play. Five-man unit back out there. Crowley on the near side. In the middle for Schuss, over it goes to Jones. Back to Schuss, thought about shooting. Schuss to Jones. Cross the floor to Crowley, he shoots, he scores! Kevin Crowley has another. New West has ripped off five in a row, it's 8-7. That was pretty. The big cat, the New West native, happy to be fighting towards the Man Cup, has two massive goals in this five goal run. And again, straight down First Avenue, very similar to that goal that he scored earlier. 
on the power play, just straight down Main Street. See if this is the exact same play, actually. If McCready comes up high and ties up his man. Justin Jones should get the assist. What a pass, Jones. Yeah, this time it's Jones. The needle. You're right, Jones from across the zone. Swings it, and Crowley hammers it home. Five in a row. 8-7, now a chance for McQuaden. Tight hit shot, turned aside by Bull. Battle for the rebound, McCullough picks it up. So Jones has a four assist game. Logan Schuss has one goal, three assists. And McCullough shoots and scores. A changeup beats Bouquet and we're tied at 8-8. Not known for putting it into the back of the net. McCullough gets his first of the playoffs. And boy, did his team need it. Yeah, it's great timing and that's what a leader does. Ben McCullough is a fan favorite in Victoria. He knew his team needed a goal. This is not usually the time where you're gonna shoot from out there and transition. But McCullough's like, you know what? I've had enough of this. I'm taking matters into my own hands. Looked and like he didn't get all that, or it might have been partially blocked. It, it fooled Bouquet, no question. Uh, another late goal by the Shamrocks as Tyler Haas in a battle for it. Shane Bennett picks it up as Haas lost his stick. I think Goodwin might have gotten in front of that as Bouquet didn't see where the ball was leaving the stick from. It came around around hip high. Shots are 34-28. New West has possession. Shuss for McCready. Steps into a shot. Bold turns it aside to the corner. Robinson grabs it. 48 seconds to play in the period. 8-8 tie here in game five. Miss Jones bobbles it. Picks it back up in the far corner. Logan Shuss coming. Jones takes it to the middle. Passes down low and Robinson turned his head. Picked off by the Shamrocks. There's about a three second differential between the game and shot clock. Shamrocks don't normally call a timeout. They know the play they want to run. Reza Teretz is out there. Can they get a late one going into the third? Reza Teretz having a great game for Victoria. Passes to Small. Small takes a shot. Missed it short side. Marshall King grabs it off the wall. Finds Reza Teretz. His shot goes wide. And it's going to be New West ball in three seconds. So they'll probably get one last shot here. The clock ran for 0.5 seconds, it looks like. 2.8 on the clock. Messenger, sharp angle shot, misses the target, and we're going to the third, knotted up at eight. Welcome back to the start of the third period. Brandon Asso, Brad Challoner with you. Last to recap in that second period, nine goals combined. Let's get the scoring summary going. 32nd mark, Casey Jackson makes it four or five to three Victoria from Small and Reza Teretz. And then Reza Teretz at 6.06 made it 6-3 from Casey Jackson. 7.50 mark, the run kept going for Victoria. Chris Wardle from Triolo and Priolo made it 7-3. And then after that, it was all bellies. Logan Schuss at 11.03 makes it 7-4 from Mitch Jones. Mike Messenger at 11.19 makes it 7-5 from Belgrave. And then Kevin Crowley at 12.53 uh, made it 7-6 from Jones and Schuss. And then Hodgson scores in transition at 16-17 from Justin Goodwin. At 18-18, Kevin Crowley gets another from Jones and Schuss to give New West an 8-7 lead. Not so fast as Ben McCullough, because at 18-46, he ties it up, his first of the playoffs, unassisted. And so we enter a very pivotal third period, tied up at 8-8. A man cup berth on the line. And the season, looking to keep going for Victoria, for the visitors. They win the faceoff, it's Priolo. Being chased by Bennett. Shots 34-29 as Reza Terrence grabbed by Messenger. Throws it across the floor for Corey Small. Shamrocks thought Reza Terrence was grabbed onto there by Messenger. Play goes on. Here's Corey Small with a pass in tight for Wardle. His shot stopped by Bouquet. Loose ball and Brebber sent flying as Belgrave scoops it up. And he'll pick up pace the other way. Drew Belgrave with a goal and an assist here in game five. Passes to Kevin Crowley. Crowley for McCready, loads up a shot, stopped by Bold. Rebound, Brever trying to chase it down, can't do it. He would have had Triolo all by himself the other way. And now a turnover against New West as Crowley's chin strap came undone. Yeah, that's always one of the worst calls. Like sometimes they call it, sometimes you don't. But as soon as you touch the ball, they're gonna blow it down. So Shamrock possession here. Small, Evan Messenger. Passes to Reza Teretz. In the middle for Small, loads up a shot, goes wide. Brandon Goodwin picks it up. Offense runs out there for New West. Here's Quinn McKay in transition. 
In the middle for Robinson, shoots, missing that. Jones grabs it off the wall. No space around Haas. He'll back off, does Mitch Jones. Up high, it goes for Daniel McQuaid. Hot night inside Queens Park Arena. Shamrocks have to get Bouquet moving here in the third. Daniel McQuaid double teamed in tight. Gonna lose possession as the third man came in. Priolo steals it away. Nice and defense. Try to get some transition to the row. We haven't seen a lot of that from the Shamrocks tonight. Bellies have capitalized, forced some turnovers, got a goal or two on the run. And if the Shamrocks to do that, they're right ripe to win this game. Here's a shot and a goal from Casey Jackson. Nice two-man game with Chris Wardle. And the Shamrocks go ahead 9-8. to eight. We saw that early in the game too. Two-man game clicking as Wardle hasn't factored in a ton in the goal department, but man, does the kid do a lot of dirty work to get guys open. And he's got a handful of assists too. So it hasn't been a quiet playoff for Wardle. He's getting the job done. And Casey Jackson is the fruits of the labor in 9-8. Shamrock's back on top. 18-15 to go. Nice start out of the gates here for the Shamrocks. And they're going to win another face-off here. So Casey Jackson gets his second of the game. He's got a four-point night going. So Warwell gets the only assist. He's got possession right now. Cross it goes to Messenger. This is Evan running away off a pick. Marshall King, the small, quick shot, blocked down by Brett Midsky. Shot clock at nine. Here's Marshall King with a chance, and he missed the net. Had Bouquet sliding to his right on a pass from Small. Messenger picks it up, trots the other way for the bellies. Mike Messenger to Kevin Crowley. Crowley to Haywires. Back Haywires. Spins, trying to take it to the goal. Turns back. Messenger shoots, stopped by Bold, Ooh. tripling behind him, and he's able to reach back and grab it. Yeah, way to track that rebound. That ball was dribbling underneath of Aaron Bold, and he falls down on top of it to keep it a one goal game. Arnett slings it ahead for Casey Jackson. Now Reza Teretz stops, looking for somebody. Bounces it to Jackson. Shot clock at 13. Jackson looking for the hat trick. Swings it up top, Reza Teretz. Trying to get around Donaldson, lets a shot go, and that's easily turned away by Alexis Bouquet. Ian Hawksby runs away from Jackson. Bounces a hard one to Brandon Goodwin. Goodwin with space, takes a shot, and he scores! What a bullet from Brandon Goodwin! We're tied at 9-9. There's the transition. I was just talking about the bellies have had it, and they tied this game up at 9 on the run. Goodwin's had a great playoff and continues it. You know, the big guns are out there. Robinson, Crowley, Shust, they're all on the floor. And Justin Goodwin just lets it go and ties it up at nine. Third of the playoffs. Hard shot over the left shoulder of Bolt. Now both teams have one apiece in this third. 16.46 to play, shots 37-32. Favor of the Shamrocks as Messenger takes a high stick off the face off. One hand on his stick. Puts it ahead towards Brett Mitski. So Ian Hawksby gets an assist. Started that rush. Here's Connor Robinson. Been held off the score sheet so far. Robinson makes the pass to Jones. Jones. Shuss takes a shot. Bouncer scores! Logan Shuss, 10-9 bellies. That's one Aaron Bowles going to walk back. Five hole. Bouncer, I talked about Bold's stick being so good that the ball has to bounce to beat him down low. If it's a clean low shot, he's gonna make a stick save. If it's a bouncer, bit of a tough, tough time tracking that bouncing ball and the bellies are back on top, 10-9. Back-to-back goals, Goodwin and Shuss. That's his second in the game. Logan now with a five-point night. Now an illegal face-off done by New West. We'll see how Victoria responds. New West has been famous going on some long runs in this series. 11 goals in this series. Here's Small, chance on net, stopped by Bouquet, not even a rebound. So Jones grabs an assist, and Connor Robinson gets his first point of the night. Secondary helper. Four minutes gone by here in this third frame. Crowley looking, spots Jones down low. On his offside, Jones 
looking for something. Passes it up high for Robinson. Too hard to handle. John Harnett trying to scoop it up. Ends up going back to his brother Greg in front of the Victoria penalty box. John Harnett was upset about something there as he goes off to the bench. And I just don't think he's happy with this play and the way he transitioned that ball. Thought he was going to either scoop it back to his brother or maybe he just wanted to fake underneath and keep transitioning up the floor. Aaron Harnett. Pass. Here's a steal from Reed Minsky. Reed Minsky breaking in on net. Shoots off the post. Oh no, missed the net. Looked like it might have grazed something, but. Yeah, good pressure by Breber. We've seen it a lot. He's able to hustle back and he's aggressive on the ball carry. Breber saved a couple goals tonight. If Minsky scored that, this roof would have exploded. Here's Evan Messenger faking a shot. Passes to Jackson up high. Marshall King lets it go wide of the net. Picks up the rebound. Shot scores. King ties it up. Nice job of staying with it after his miss. And he evens things up at 10-10. Sniffs out a bouncing ball, has the legs to crash the cage. And Marshall King gets his first of the night. It's 10-10. Offensive spark plug. There's a good bit of a broken play. Nice shot. And a good response from Victoria after the Shuskel. Back and forth we go. 40th shot on net. Bouquet has stopped 30 tonight. So it's an unassisted goal from the youngster, Marshall King. Wardle, Reza Terrence, now Jackson over to Corey Small in the front for Wardle. Backs away from the crease, plays it towards Jackson, but he's tied up from behind. By who else but Drew Belgrave. Logan Schuss off the bench. Pass comes to Haywires. He's gonna turn away from Triolo. Forward caught out there. Haywires backs off. Sends it to Joel McCready. Shot clock halfway done. McCready, Jones, Schuss. Back to Jones in front, his shot stopped by Bowl, and he stepped in the crease anyway. Mitch Jones, four assists, no goals tonight. Almost had one there. Under 14 minutes to play in this third period. Evan Messenger against Hodgson, loads up, missed the net. Rebound off the wall, comes all the way down the floor. Mike Messenger chasing it down, pulled out of his net. Messenger slides to knock it away from the goaltender. Shamrocks get it with eight seconds to shoot. They might just concede and that's exactly what Wardle does. Yeah, they want to get caught in transition again. It's been so hot for the bellies tonight. Smart play. Roll out the defense, set up. And we're gonna need a wipe down as Messenger Sweat is in front of the crease of Not Aaron the first, Bolt. First one tonight, we're 47 and a half minutes in. And now the real fan favorite runs on the floor, Shaggy. Wow, what a game it's been. 10 tens a score. Shots are 40 to 35 for the Shamrocks. No runs here in the third period. They came in 8-8 and there's been an answer for everything and we expect it to be like that from here on out. It was a massive third period by the Shamrocks in game four to force overtime. Reese Dodge with his 18 second left, heroic, short-handed. We'll see if the Shamrocks have another third period like that in them here at Queens Park with their backs against the wall. So it's New West possession here. Crowley, Shuss, Jones, Robinson, McCready. Odd on the floor. Kevin Crowley, two goals, one assist, 10 shots on net. Jones passing to Schuss. Schuss has room, looks to the net. Schuss shot, and it was blocked at the last second by John Harnett. 10 to shoot, Carter Robinson lets it go, stopped by Bold, rebound, Jones can't get it. And now a foot race, Schuss knocks Harnett to the floor, and it's gonna be a turnover. Schuss lost his stick in the process. Nice effort, but referee said, just did that a little too unfairly. Yeah. Love the loose ball battles in this game though, Brandon. Every possession is so big right now and there's a battle for every bouncing ball. Seven minute mark, third period. Both teams have two apiece. It's 10-10. Breber, Reza Terrets, one-on-one -on -one against Hawksby. It comes up high. Small takes a shot, stopped by Bouquet. Now a battle for it in the corner, comes loose. Picking it up is Belgrave in the middle. Belgrave gets away from Wardle as the offense runs out of the gate for New West. Drew Belgrave. 
runs to the bench. Another good defensive shift for himself. Jones, Crowley, far side of your screen, looking for something, throws it in front, and McCready couldn't handle it. Well defended there by Victoria, who waited for it. Converged on him just in time. Now Greg Harnett bounces one to the far side. Garland leaves it for Jackson. Casey Jackson, Reza Terrence, back to Jackson. Hit his shin, but he picked it back up. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Here's a shot, Bouquet makes a save on Fagan. Small gets the loose ball in the far corner and just gonna settle things down here for the Rocks. Jackson comes back out there, 11.45 to play. A go Rocks, go chant making its way around QPA. Small's pass is knocked away by Brett Minsky. Ball ends up all the way down to Bold. 10 seconds to shoot and Aaron Bull might just whip it down the floor here. And he gives it away. And it looked like Hodgson is gonna grab it. And now Quinn McKay gonna leave it. Shot clock sounds. New West ball with 11.25 to go. Fagan's a scrapper. I have no doubt that if he would've picked up that ball, that would've been flying towards the net. He doesn't give up on any play. Has a real grinders mentality. A nice hard shot from the outside. Joel McCready scored the first two goals of the game, nothing since. Tries a shot, stopped by Bold, kicked out the right leg. Grabs a loose ball and flings one to center. He's got John Harnett. And the defender just gonna stop and find Chris Wardle off the bench. Under 11 minutes to play, still tied at 10-10. Chris Wardle, hard pass, and a messenger thought about shooting, gives it back to Wardle. Wardle one-on-one -on -one against Donaldson. Passes to Marshall King. He's got the last one here. King tries a shot that goes wide. Picked up Evan Messer. His shot hit Wardle, and that hurt as he goes down, and the shot clock's at two. Shane Bennett takes his time, and I think we might need a wipe down here as the referee blows the whistle, and Shaggy going to come back out. Yeah, we're at that stage where every time someone goes down now, we're going to see Shaggy on a hot Queens Park night. 10.33 to go in a tie lacrosse game. Belly's... Trail the shot department, 42-37. It was as big as 10-11 margin at one point when they started firing the ball a little bit more in this lacrosse game. So the 2015 Man Cup champions down 3-1 in the series. They were the first BC team to win the Man Cup since 2005. A lower mainland team hasn't won it since 2001. Belly's looking to change that. First things first though, 10 minutes and 33 seconds of this third period. Shamrock trying to keep their season going. New West wants to host the Man Cup. Mitch Jones passes towards Kevin Crowley. Crowley to Jones. Jones thought about shooting, plays it in front for Crowley, knocked out of his stick from behind by Greg Harnett. Great defense there, and Victoria comes up with the ball. Yeah, I think the Bellers are looking to execute a set play, and the Shamrocks read it quite nicely. Harnett able to strip Crowley, who was cutting through the middle all alone on the doorstep, and strips him from behind. Joe Reza Terrence has room in the middle, takes a shot, missed the net. Fagan picks it up off the boards and scores! Josh Fagan makes an 11-10 Victoria. His third of the playoffs, and it's a big one. And he's got a nose for the net, and he's in the right place at the right time. As Ressa Carrots comes around to the top to be the shooter at the point, Fagan pops out, and that ball just lands right in his stick. Give the glass an assist on that one. Fagan has the go-ahead goal for the Shamrocks. 9.57 to go. 43-37 are the shots in favor of the visitors. Burton. Kicks it free, had his stick tied up by Bennett. Able to get it to a teammate, Steve Priolo. This is our highest scoring game of this series so far. 21 goals split between these two teams right now. Reza Terrence. In towards the middle, passes to Small. Small down to Wardle, eight seconds on the shot clock. Wardle, no room around, Brett Minsky tries a shot that goes well wide. and. Shamrock's gonna run out of time as Reza Terrence floats it into an open corner. Belly's looking for the equalizer. Drew Belgrave passes to Jones and heads off to the bench. Kevin Crowley takes the feed. One-on-one -on -one against John Harnett. 
Crowley behind the net for Jones, ran into the official. Jones cuts back in with a shot, stopped by Bolt. Rebound in the corner, gonna come loose. Kevin Crowley picks it up, uses his big frame to fend off a couple of checks. Crowley, no look pass, picked off by Priolo out of midair. He is looking for Robinson. And now we're gonna need another wipe down from Shaggy, 8.48 to play. Yeah, we're getting one every 45 seconds to a minute now. Stopping the flow of the play a little bit, but I don't think the players care at all. They get a chance to breathe. As long as the refs are smart about their whistles and not taking any transition opportunities away from anybody. So both teams, no strangers to a 3-1 series. They were in different scenarios though in the last round. New West was down 3-1 to Maple Ridge. They come back, win three straight, get an overtime win in game seven. Meanwhile, Victoria had a 3-1 lead against the Lakers. Burnaby fights back, force the game seven, but lose on their home floor. And now it's the Shamrocks down 3-1, up a goal here in pivotal game number five. Back underway, under nine minutes to go. Here's Wardle over to King. King spots Josh Fagan, who has a go-ahead goal. Fagan tries a shot. Oh, and there was room there. Bouquet just got his left arm on it. And the rebound skinners all the way down the bowl. Yeah, that might have went arm post and all the way down the floor. Well, they didn't miss by much. Fagan plays it in for King. King across. Wardle shoots. Stopped by Bouquet, and he'll scoop up the loose ball. 44 shots on Alexis Bouquet tonight. 11 has gotten by him. Daniel McQuaid passes towards Crowley. Crowley to Jones. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Jones trying to get it to Shuss. Can't control it. Tyler Burton picks it up. Has speed the other way. Reza Terrence with him. Burton in front. Reza Terrence couldn't get it. One pass too many there. And Justin Goodwin steals. 7.40 to go in this third period. McCready to Kevin Crowley. Crowley puts the shoulder down, knocks down Harnett, fires a shot over the head of Bold. Now the Shamrocks in transition, led by Tyler Haas. Has room, Haas steps into it, stopped by Bouquet, no rebound. What a save. Shamrocks are looking for that transition though now. They had one earlier, and they're trying to force it here in period number three, get another goal. Shuss, passes up high, Brandon Goodwin fakes, walks in, shoots, stopped by Bold, gets his own rebound, no, he couldn't get it. Nice wait on Priolo though, fake the shot, tuck underneath the big man, and got a decent shot off. Jackson, out of the gate, gets the pass from Priolo. 6.50 to play in this third period. Is it going to six? Or is New West hosting the Man Cup? We'll find out in six minutes time or more. Wouldn't be the first time we had overtime. Now Wardle trying to get a pass, can't do it. Shot clock gonna run out here. New West has a two on one fast break. It's Belgrave, chased from behind, look out, but he's able to stay on his feet. Finds Hodgson with a shot and he fired it over the glass and out of play. Hodgson. Another opportunity on the run. They give the ball back right to the Victoria Shamrocks. Wardle bounces it ahead for Evan Messenger. Messenger in the middle for Wardle all by himself, and he stepped in the crease. Bouquet. Big, big save by Bouquet. And again, another wipe as Wardle came flying through the middle of the floor. And a glorious opportunity with the quick stick on the doorstep. And just watch the reaction from Bouquet again. He's been so strong all series long, so positionally sound, and gets the arm out. Gets a wipe, we'll take a breather, 6.06 to go. Both goaltenders on the bench getting a squirt of water. So you mentioned in the broadcast, it was hot and humid out here, the lower mainland. So lots the, of sweat dripping on the floor. Gives the offenses a time to get together and talk about what they want to do here. Out of the goaltender floor wipe timeout. It's not often New West loses when they score 10 goals or more. Just one time this whole year they've lost when hitting the net 10 plus times. Here's McCready and now a shot and a goal. Was that the hidden ball trick? What happened here? 
Refs are talking it over. Shamrock's gonna argue too. I think they needed to know where the ball was gonna start. That might be the argument here. Let's watch his replay. What happened? I honestly yeah, the don't Shamrock, know. Yeah, the ball shot came from the right side. So it looked like Shamrock's gonna argue they need to know where the ball was when it was blown in, as they're gonna assume it was with Crowley on that right side. But I think it was with Logan Schuss. And wow. the Shamrocks have to be aware of where the ball is. And if the referee said it's with Crowley and it's not, Shamrocks could have a case here. No goal. No goal. We wave it off. And we can't get another look. We apologize on the replay scenario. But I think that's exactly what happened is yeah. Shamrocks were watching Crowley on the righty side. Logan Schuss had the ball. Referees pointed at Crowley. Here's where the ball is. Play was, play was blown in. But if the ball's not with Crowley and it was with Logan Schuss, the refs have to state that. So everyone in the building fooled except the Bellies offense there. It remains 11-10 Victoria, New uh, West ball. A and valiant now, effort by the, by the New West Mr. Salmon Bellies, but. So now Mitch Jones will start with it, that is for sure. As he waits the handoff from the refs. 6-11 to play in his third period. Mitch Jones plays it in for Daniel McQuaid. McQuaid to Crowley. Crowley back to Jones, he's got a little space. Stops, looks. Jones one-handed pass to McCready. McCready slides it down to Crowley. Crowley towards the net with a shot, missed it. Loose ball, Logan Schuss can't pick it up. Tyler Haas steps in front, grabs it for Victoria. And he'll take his time up floor. 5.40 to go in the third period. Yeah, good defensive shift by the Shamrocks. They needed a shutdown shift after that scrambly turn of events. Here's Corey Small, winds and fires off the shoulder bouquet. Rebound comes to Jackson. He'll play up high for Reza Terrets. Joe Reza Terrets, Corey Small, spins towards the wall. Cuts to the middle, small, passes to King in front, messenger wide open, tick save by Bouquet. What a stop. And now Hodgson battling Jackson. Casey Jackson gets another loose ball. Here's a third opportunity for the offense. Messenger had a chance to put the team up by two, robbed on the toes of Alexis Bouquet. He was naked, point blank. And now Marshall King fires it off the head of Drew Belgrave, shot clock at 15. Hawksby steps in front of King and picks up a loose ball. Strap in, we're in for a finish, 4.45 to go. Glad you can tune in here on play full screen. Shamrocks up 11-10. Jones takes the pass to Robinson, cuts to the net, shoots, and he scores! Mitch Jones gets his first of the game. Tie game, 11-11. Right time to come alive for 16 as Mitch Jones just does this all by himself on the right side. Haywires and Robinson do a good job of tying up their men and they leave a lane for Jones to just streak down that lefty side of the floor and tuck it five hole. 11-11 with 4.32 to go. Robinson and Minsky get the assist. Big goal in the late stages and now Quinn McKay spins away from pressure, passes to Mike Messenger. New West looking for the lead. 25th of the postseason for Jones. Here's Mitz Jones dropping it off for Logan Schuss. He's got room and he's hit the post. His third post of the game. The fans gasping for air. Bellies get it back. Schuss again. One hand on his stick, drops it off for Jones. Jones looks towards the net. One hand on his stick, he's held. Jones able to spin it towards McCready. 10 on the shot clock, McCready to the net, stopped by Bold. McQuaid on the rebound, can't tuck it in. He stepped in the crease. Pushed in by Harnett, so it's Shamrock ball, but Logan Schuss just missing by millimeters. Now they're gonna keep feeding Logan Schuss as they know he's got that outside. It's just, it's dialed in. It just has to be a millimeter lower. Here's Corey Small. 
Passes down low for, for Wardle, and he's denied by Bouquet. What a stop with the right arm as Wardle's hammered to the floor. What a save, and now Messenger in transition. Puts his head down, throws it on net, and Bolt makes a stop. Oh boy, a couple of nice saves by the goaltenders. 3-10 to go in the third period. And Tyler Hosh is going to stop things here. Waits for the offense. Passes to Reza Teretz. Reza Teretz to Jackson. Messenger to Small. Back to Messenger on the far side wall. 10 to shoot. Messenger up high for Jackson. Fakes. Jackson doesn't like what he sees, so he turns back. Now a swim move. Cuts in front, and he lost the handle. Belly's going to pick it up as the shot clock expires. And we're going to need Shaggy to come out here as there's some sweat near Bouquet. Take a breather. Can Shaggy Ooh. come up here and wipe up my forehead? Getting pretty up intense in the broadcast booth in Queen's Park Arena. But man, nice pressure by the Victoria Shamrocks. Their two-man game, their cutters. Wardle does a good job of getting inside. And then Casey Jackson just straight up dangles underneath of Donaldson and not able to bring his stick back up and get a shot off. And Talk about those saves by Bouquet here in the last couple minutes, showing why he is your front runner for playoff MVP. Doesn't get much better than this. Late stages, third period in a clinching game. No, 11 11. Great crowd on hand here inside Queens Park Arena. This is what summer lacrosse is all about. Two historic franchises tied late. In the third period of an elimination game, this is about as good as it gets. And we're happy to be with you tonight. Shaggy has to make another stop, this time at the Victoria end. So again, the winner of this will take on the winner of Peterborough Six Nations, and it's all Lakers. 3-0 stranglehold on the defending Man Cup champs. And we're ready to get started here. Every possession matters. Robinson to McCready. McCready back to Robinson, now Schuss. Two goals, three assists for Logan Schuss in front for Jones, shoots and he's stopped by Bold. What a save with the right shoulder. Mark that one down. Great opportunity as Jones just plays a little possum with Priolo. Makes him think he's gonna cut out wide and he's just got, Jones has a great first step and just able to step around Priolo, take that shot, Bold stands tall. Shot clock at 10. Reza Terrence with a six point night. Over to Wardle. Wardle looking towards the net. Two seconds, fires off the leg of Bouquet. And out of play, so they're gonna get a reset. Yeah, that one might have been going wide. So off Bouquet gives the ball back to the Shamrocks with under two to go. Corey Small, will he step up again? He's got a hat trick. Brett Minsky guarding him closely, Small. Drops it off, Wardle shoots, stopped by Bouquet. Gonna hang on to it and get a whistle. Nice little two-man game between Wardle and Small, but Bouquet comes up with a save. Minute 35 to go. McCready in front, Crowley shoots and he scores! Kevin Crowley! 12-11 New West, minute 30 to play. What a pass from McCready. The big cat pounces, makes no mistake on the doorstep. Beautiful feed by McCree, as this is similar to the Jones play they just ran. He slips underneath of his man, and Kevin Crowley in one shot brings in the pass, sweeps it across his body, buries, bellies on top with 90 seconds to play. Look at this, Brad. I think we're going to have a illegal equipment check here from Victoria. Check, check, and I don't mind that. Pull out all the stops. Gives your team a, a timeout and a chance for a breather here. You know, they scored shorthanded the other night. So if this stick is legal, the Shamrocks are shorthanded. But they'll just pull their goaltender, so they'll have to try to get it done five on five to tie this goal. If this goes right, they go to the power play. And... So a big moment here as they're going to check the stick of Alexis Bouquet. So McCready and Hawksby get the assist on Crowley's hat-trick goal. Third straight game, a hat-trick for Kevin Crowley in that one. You know, and I, I don't know if you and Steve Ewan touched on this, but as before he was coming out to the box, him and I had a quick chat outside the tunnel, and 
You know, he thinks it's good to go. It's a legal stack. It'll legal. be a penalty for Victoria. Shamrock's going to be shorthanded. For the rest of the third period, someone will be in the box for Victoria. And they'll have to do it exactly the way they did it in game four. But they don't have Reese Dutch to take that shot tonight. This building. Yeah, they're giving it to the Shamrocks right now. It is loud and proud inside Queen's Park Arena right now. So someone's got to go serve. My guess it'll be, no, it's not going to be King. Garland will go over. Usually the call-up goes and serves. It's time. But as I was saying, Crowley and Steve Ewan had a conversation. I think Crowley has unfinished business. He was here for, I think, two of the three championships that the Bellies won from 08 to 20. I think Crowley was there in nine and 10. Might have been a call up in 08 as well, but he's got unfinished business. That's why he's back this summer. And nine goals over his last three games. Absolutely incredible stuff from the New West native who is doing it for the logo on the front of his jersey right now. Power play has been hot tonight. Bellies are three for four. They can put him away and clinch the WLA title and host the Man Cup. Don't want to get too far ahead of themselves with a minute 30 left. And you're right, Brad, will be Victoria. Probably pulling the goaltender if they can get a stop here. Come down floor, that's what they did in game four. Reese Dutch scored five on five if the goalie pulled when Triolo got tossed. So they're gonna have to do that again if they want to save their season. So expect the bellies to use almost the full 30 here, work the ball around before they get the shot off, kill as much time off the clock as you can, and then battle hard for that reset and try to do it all over again. Mike Messenger's out there for defensive purposes. And you'll probably just see New West take a last second shot on the shot clock as they have no urgency right now to get it towards the goal. Around the perimeter it goes, Messenger. Crowley, 12 on the shot clock. Crowley has a go-ahead goal. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Pass it to Messenger. Messenger, shots, shoots, missed the net. And it'll be Shamrock ball as the shot clock sounds. And they'll call a timeout or a wipe down. What is it? Looks like it's a timeout, Victoria. Victoria timeout tied with 59 seconds to go. So if you're a new West, Brad, who are you trying to take out of this play? You gotta think. Well, Corey Small, yeah. Joe Rest and Terrence, but it's gotta be Corey Small that you focus on. But it's five on five, so you can't even, you gotta man up, stay tight. So minute 29 left in the penalty being served by Garland to delay a game call after they tried to get Bouquet with a legal stick. Didn't work out. And now we'll see if the Shamrocks can tie it with under a minute to play here in the third period. Messengers, Small, Wardle, Reza Terrence, and Breber. Five players out there. Bold is at the bench. Five on five. Wardle will start with it. A defense chant. Started here from the fans. Here's Ward up high. Reza Terrence takes a shot. Bounced it wide. Corey Small got it off the boards, though. He'll set it back up for Wardle. Second chance here for Victoria. Messenger trying to pass. Stolen by Mike. Has an empty net. Mike Messenger. Twisting, turning, scoring. They can taste it. Bellies lead 13 11. Listen to this place again. You know, the Canadian Army could use a tank like Mike Messenger. How many bodies does he shake off on his way to goal here? Give the kid the loose and let him go. Three Shamrocks in hot pursuit. He waits till the shot is saved, and Messenger, they can just put this game on ice with 39.6 to go. He just did it so nonchalant, like we usually see, you know, just another day in the office, fight off a couple of checks. And here's a goal call from Ken Downey. 
And Shamrock Brass, Pants, they're scratches, they're injured, are going crazy across the floor right now. 39 seconds left. So it's an unassisted goal for Messenger. Picked off the pass and sealed the deal at the other end. It's, and we've talked about Messenger a lot, Brandon. As soon as that ball was in his stick, you think you knew empty netter was coming. The scratch and injured Shamrocks are throwing on their jerseys right now across the floor. They can come on. Goaltender pulled, Shamrocks win the face off. 35 seconds left, Tyler Haas runs it in, chasing behind by Hodgson, and he threw it into the corner. Brett Minsky gonna pick it up. Shot clock's turned off. Minsky drops it off to Hawksby. Reza Terrence gives pressure. Hawksby behind the net. Twisting, turning, double team. Hawksby just trying to eat the clock and he's gonna fire it down the floor. The countdown is on. 10 seconds left. Balls played down. And for the first time since 2010, the Bullies, WLA champions, they'll host the Man Cup. What a series. Hats off to both teams.